Heavenly Father, please reveal through me your written word, your spoken word, and your living word. Amen. Amen. In the Gospel reading of John that we just heard, this chapter continues with the final part of the farewell discourse, which is also known as the High Priestly Prayer of Jesus. Remember that the setting up for this prayer is in the upper room, where Jesus and the disciples had celebrated Passover. This moment occurs before Jesus enters Gethsemane, where the other Gospels will record his final anguished prayers before being arrested. This prayer begins with Jesus' petition for his glorification by the Father and continues to an intercession for the success of works and protection for his disciples and the community of his followers. Jesus is not asking his Father for his disciples to be taken out of the world, but he is praying for them as they are sent into the world. He begins with them being not of the world and prays for protection as they are sent into the world. Jesus says, my prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. The world is a dangerous place. We only have to switch on our television sets and tune into the daily news to hear about another COVID death, another variant, another murder, robbery, sexual assault, or tragic stabbing of a youth on our London streets. Every day the newspapers and internet are filled with images and stories reporting about the dangers of the world. And for some of us here today, we will have experienced firsthand the dangers of life. However, what Jesus is speaking primarily about in this passage is not that we need protecting from what's out there in the world, but more importantly, we need to be protected from what's in here, inside our own hearts. When Jesus uses the word world, he did not mean nature or creation for we know that nature and creation are good. Jesus instead was referring to the world which has many different operating systems. The same operating systems that we have grown accustomed to using today. The ones which order human life, our social, cultural, political and economic structures. These worldly systems are all about security, status and power. And whilst they work on one level, they also, on another level, have created fear, anger, division, and grief. This passage challenges us to ask ourselves the question, are we too benefiting, participating, and fostering from systems of the world that are opposed to God's life? Are we operating out of a place of fear, resentment, jealousy? arrogance or greed? Do we contribute to systems of domination and oppression when we try to control our environment, our lives or other people? For God's system is radically different. It's radically different from the world. His system operates out of a place of love, compassion, mercy, forgiveness. Jesus modelled what it looked like to not run away fight or conform to the systems of the world and we too are called to do the same but it's not easy it's not easy being in a world and not of it in fact it can be extremely hard it can be difficult to work through your story of pain and hurt and move into a state where you're able to see the bigger picture and even understand the value and the gift the situation has given you for if our pain is not transformed, it is transmitted. And it's not always easy to speak out against injustice and wrongdoing, especially if you are the only one sticking your head above the parapet, rocking the status quo, upsetting the apple cart. But Jesus never said that it would be easy, nor did he pray that we would be taken out of the world. Instead, he prays to the Father, asking for protection, not only for his disciples, but for all who believe in him. 
that's you and that's me. He's praying that we are protected, guarded and kept safe from the evil one. Jesus knows the troubles that we all face. He knows the dangers, the trials and the challenges of life. As we live out the radical teachings of Jesus, just like the first disciples, we can be completely assured of God's love and protection. Our protection is not found in escaping um, or avoiding the world and its troubles, nor can our protection be found in money, power, prestige or success. For true protection comes through sanctification. Jesus asks the Father to cleanse us with his truth, sanctify them in the truth, he says. Your word is truth. Sanctification separates us from the usual operating systems of the world. For when we place our lives firmly in the truth of God's word and not in the structures and systems of the world, we can be assured that nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God. And therefore, we are safe and protected in the midst of conflict. There will be people here today facing problems that are impossible to resolve or even to face in the strength of human resources. Therefore, my prayer for you today is whatever you're experiencing, enduring or suffering, that you would be filled with the hope and the joy of Christ, and know that you are protected by the power of his name.